put so much hard work and love into your hide and you finally reach the very last step, which is smoking. Up until this point, if your hide had gotten wet, it would be basically put back to the very beginning. You would have raw hide again. And so it's really important to smoke our hides because it preserves them and makes it so that they can get wet, which is really important for any clothing, especially if you live in a rainforest like I do. So the smoking process, what it does is it creates a waterproof layer around each fiber in the hide, which protects it from water washing away the oils that are coating that fiber and keeping it supple and movable. Now we know all about why we smoke. And now we're going to see how we smoke. Thank you for smoking. <laughs> okay. So I have tied a little piece of rotten wood, which magically appeared on the ground here. And I am going to toss it over this line that we have set up. If you don't have a line or you don't want to set up a line, you could do this over a tree branch. You could have some other method that you have a thing that you can toss this over, but I will leave that up to you to figure out. But here I have erected a line between two trees. Okay, great. Okay, Lewis, we are now ready to get this hide hanger erected. This is so exciting. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's like the final step in this epic process and journey that is like this beautiful thing and something all of our ancestors did. And I don't know, it's, it really feels good to me to be doing these primitive skills. So we want to tie the hide hanger to the one that is closest to the fire. And I'm just going to use a very simple square knot. Here we go. So there's this branch here, which is handy, but we could just go around any part of the tree. And then I'm gonna lift it. Do you mind lifting it, Lewis, until it's probably right at your head level? Yeah, a little higher. That's great. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna do another trucker's hitch. So I'm gonna make a loop and I'm gonna pull that loop. I made a loop and then I'm gonna put my fingers in the loop and I'm gonna grab the string closer to the bottom of the string. I'm not gonna grab up. I'm gonna grab down and then I'm gonna make myself a loop. I had one right here, but I wanted you to see me making the loop. And then, I mean, where would you be if you didn't know how to make a loop? I guess I'd be over there holding that string for a long time. <laughs> you would be holding the string for a very long time. This is very true. Okay, so now I have this and I'm gonna make a four. See that four? And then I'm gonna take the end of the four and I'm gonna put it through the four. And that is my trucker stitch. And that way it'll be really easy for us to raise and lower this. So then we take one of these smoking buckets and this bucket has been used a lot. But even though it has no bottom, it still works just fine for smoking. Basically you want a metal bucket and you wanna drill holes into the metal bucket. Super important. And you can get a metal bucket at a hardware store and they sell them for putting ashes from a wood stove in. Can you hold this side? And then we are going to clip it. And it's not my preference to have a plastic clip, but this works fine. Nice, okay. So yeah, that looks great. That looks totally great. So I'm seeing that my hanger is a little bit crooked now that I see you, hello. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide it. When we did the demo on making the hide hanger, I showed you how important it was to set it up so this is one continuous piece. So then I can just slide this vertical piece on this hanger piece and that way I can adjust how this hangs. So that's, it just showed 
how handy it is. And then we're gonna adjust the height so that the bottom of the skirt overlaps the bucket by probably two or three inches. Okay. okay. Great, and I see that I probably should have tied my slip a little higher because I think that we have more room to move than I have on this loop. So just gonna undo that slip. And then Lewis, do you mind lifting that to like where we want it more or less? And actually lift it to where the skirt is at the very top because when you let go, it's gonna sink down a little bit. Okay, okay cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a loop here. Again, I twist the loop and then I grab from below. Well, I don't think that ended up much higher. Okay, and then I take this and I go through my loop. Okay, and then let go. Yeah, that'll be just about perfect. Awesome. So I'm gonna wet the skirt. I have a bucket here that's about half full of water and I'm gonna bring it up to my skirt and I'm gonna get the skirt really nice and wet and then I'm gonna get the water off and then we're gonna make sure that we've got the right height. So you feeling excited to smoke your hide, Lewis? This is gonna be great. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Yeah, well you worked very hard on it. Okay, cool. So now we're ready to put coals in the bucket. You know, oftentimes at this point, I'll just flip the skirt. I like to flip my skirt through there. That should be fine. Just right down in here? Yeah, just right in there. You got it. Nice, awesome. A little more? Yeah, give me some more and try to have as few ashes as possible. So I don't want to scoop down there too much, just exactly. get the burning coals. Exactly, you got it. That's just great. The coals. And you don't want like actively flaming things. This is perfect. You're doing a great job. I would not want to burn my hide. Yeah, don't <laughs> burn your hide. That's the object here. Okay, cool. And so we're going to want about two inches of coals at the bottom of the bucket. Yeah, I think one more little scoop and you'll be golden. There we go. Nice, perfect. A little ashy. Yeah, you know, I've seen people actually drill holes in a shovel. To let the ash holes. out. And then you can just kind of toss it and the ashes go away, which is really nice. We're gonna get this starting smoking first, but soon after we're gonna build that fire up because we're gonna want more coals. And we'll probably wanna use some hardwood instead of just poplar so that we can get some a serious coal bang going. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of this punky wood and I'm gonna sprinkle it lightly over these coals. You don't wanna like totally smother the coals, but you want there to be enough punk so that you get a good amount of smoke. Also the punk, you can add it if it ever seems like you're gonna have a flare up, like you should be like listening for the flare up. Okay, cool. And I have these really nifty fire blowers, which can be used So this is really great. Like we want the smoke to be actively billowing. And so this is perfect. So your hide is now ready to put over the bucket. Cool. Do you want to do the honors? Sure. Cool. So I just let it down uh -huh. and fit the skirt over the bucket. Yeah, totally. I just want to catch all that smoke in there. Exactly. Yeah, you want to catch the smoke. Like so? Exactly, that's perfect. That's totally perfect. And then do you see, Lewis? Here, if you can come here. See how there's these holes on this side? Uh-huh. So you're gonna wanna plug those holes up just with the punky wood. Uh-huh. So just fit that right in there. Yeah, you just fit it right in. 
Yeah, it's the really easy, fast way to do it. If you have any really big holes, you can use clips. So I can show you right how there. you would do that, exactly. And I guess and we're just trying to trap in as much smoke as we can, huh? Exactly, you want the smoke to have to travel through the hide itself, rather than just escaping through you know, the edges or through the holes. And so the smoke actually traveling through this hide makes it coat all of the brains and all of the fat that is coating the fibers of the hide itself. Okay, well, it's looking good. So the key is you just have to keep it billowing and keep it billowing. So the way that we're gonna do that is every like three to five minutes, we're gonna add punk. And when we add punk, we're just gonna lightly sprinkle it. And if the billow ever slows down, we're gonna add more punk. Cool. And it's a fine art to add the perfect amount of punk. And you will develop this art as time goes on. I guess I just have to do it. And I probably should sit here and watch it for a while. Like I shouldn't go away and leave it because it might die down. If you leave, it is likely that the smoking skirt will catch fire and your hide could catch fire. And if the hide catches fire, then all of that work that you've just put in will be burnt. Ashes. Ashes <laughs> indeed. So it's gonna be really important for you to sit with this hide until it's done. And you might find somebody to come and hang out with you by the fire. You know, you play guitar. You could like make it fun. Grab a book. Yeah, there you go. But you have to be aware that every few minutes you're going to have to add punk and listen for this like, because it does the, this noise happens right before a flare up. Ah. And if you do hear that going on in the bucket, you can usually, can you hold that for a moment? Yep. You can usually just add some punk and the punk will actually smother the flame. But if you get past that point, then you're gonna have to, let's say that you, you see your hide skirt catching on fire. That's the glory of these clips. And then you would take it and you would stomp on it and you would put out the fire. You got it? Great. Awesome, okay, cool. No burning hides. No burning hides.